This Nets team is going to hit expectations. Kyrie's going to have to be great. Kevin Durant's going to have and to healthy. be great and healthy. Who else do you hone in on and say they're really going to have to step up for this team to well, hit expectations? Well, think about the way that Karis Avert played last season. To me, he was the team MVP. He played very well during the regular season. He played very well for them in the bubble. The key will be, Ryan, what are you going to do with him? Are you going to start him? Are you going to bring him off the bench? Because he's very good with the ball in his hands as a, and as a playmaker. He's starting to elevate his game. I don't see any reason why it can't continue. And then I also think Joe Harris. Deservedly so, he got paid. He's going to be so important to what they do because he shoots threes, he spaces the floor, and then, of course, Spencer Dinwiddie, another terrific offensive player. So I think early on for Steve Nash, the challenge will be trying to figure out how to get all these guys, what minutes they're going to play, and who's going to be the starting five. It feels like a very deep team, Frank. Yes. Just looking at the depth chart, I mean, it looks like a deep squad. And I think that's the importance of the bubble. When everyone knew last season, all right, the Nets weren't a championship team without Kyrie Irving and Kevin and Durant, but they got something of value by going into the bubble, playing games that mattered, being in the playoffs. Think about it, what it did for the uh, development of these younger players. And I think this year, that experience will pay off for the Brooklyn Nets. Even a guy like Timotei Luau Cabarro, yeah. right, who looked yep. like a rotation piece for this team. Frank, if it was up to you, you mentioned the question before. Quick comment here. When it comes to Karis LeVert, in your ideal world, does he come off the bench, control the offense, or does he find you a way to play off the ball? You know what? Maybe I'll bring Spencer off the bench and I'll start Karis Avert with Jared Allen, obviously Joe Harris, and then the two big guys, Kevin Durant and Kyrie.